Hello, I'm Atuba Judge, and I'm so excited to be bringing God's truth to you today. Now, we're in a new week, even as we are getting towards the end of the first month of 2023, the month of January. Hey, God is working in your life. I know, praise God. How do I know? Because he's sending his word. I've told you this time and time again. If God is sending his word, then it means he still loves you. It means he's still interested in you. So if you're hearing the sound of my voice today, it's a proof that God still loves you. The question then is, what would you do with the voice of God that is coming to you? Adam and Eve heard his voice and they ran away because they were naked. Now the voice didn't stop coming, but they ran away from the voice. See? So if the word of God is coming to you, it doesn't mean, it, or it means rather, that God has not given up on you. So why would you give up on yourself? Remember even when Adam and Eve said, oh, we hid ourselves because we were naked. God's response was, who told you you were naked? Meaning, I haven't told you that you are naked. So who did you believe? Many times that's the challenge with a lot of people. They have believed the wrong person. I pray that will not be your case today. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. As we look towards the end of the month, I want you to release your faith for good things. Release your faith for miracles. Release your faith for blessings from the Lord. And you will see them come to pass in your life. Praise God. Can we call for that daily bread as we start this broadcast today? Join me right now in faith as we declare, say, Father, I demand from you my daily bread. You apportioned it for me daily. And Lord, I take advantage of your grace and I demand and receive it right now in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Praise God. How simple does that prayer is. But then the reason we prayed every day, because number one, he commanded us to do it. And then the wisdom behind the command is that we begin to align our minds with these truths that God gives daily bread to us on every day. That's why it's called daily bread, praise God, on a daily basis. I've compared this to God giving the children of Israel manna in the wilderness. Guess what he told them? He says, every day I'll supply you manna and you shall eat the manna for that day. See, I'll supply you enough manna for the day. Don't keep it over till the next day. And that's how the blessing of the Lord is. That's how the provision of the Lord is. Every day, God makes provision for you. It is your duty to believe it and then act on that belief. And expect good things to come your way today. The favor you need this week is coming your way beginning from today. That's what you should believe. God is on your side. He loves you. He's done everything he needs to do for you. It doesn't matter what you have experienced in life. Your experience most times is not the direct um, response to God's perfect plan for you. Don't let your experience respond for you. You respond yourself. When you know the will of God, what do you do? Respond to it. How do you respond to it? You receive it by faith and act on it. If you believe something, you will act on it. You won't just sit down there and say, I believe, I believe, I believe. No, you will act act based on what you believe. Praise God. So that's what I want you to do this week. Act like one who's expecting daily supplies from the Lord. Act like one who's expecting daily benefits from the Lord. He gave it. David said it. He said it. He gives us benefit on a daily basis. He daily loads. I love that word. Praise God. He didn't say he, he daily gives us. He daily loads. Loads. Think about it. Loads. Meaning keep, keep putting on and putting on. Praise God. So, so hey, 
the benefit is for your taking until you are satisfied to say it is enough. You remember the woman Elisha met? She said, oh, I'm in debt. My husband was in debt. The creditors are coming. He said, woman, what do you have? He said, I have nothing but a jar of oil. Now she's had that jar of oil for only God knows how long. But she never knew what to do with it. <laughs> I'm telling you, she was must have been thinking, mm, I'll use this jar of oil to cook the next soup or to cook the next meal. See that? But the man of God said to her, right, you've got something. Now go gather vessels. And he says, go borrow vessels and don't borrow few. Get a lot. And she went and gathered as much as she could get. And when she was done, she told him, I've done so. He said, good. Shut your door in and that jar of oil you have, begin to pour it into those vessels. Pour and just keep pouring. Praise <laughs> God. Now, how do you reason out that? Imagine you receiving that kind of instruction today. Yeah, what's wrong with this man? He doesn't understand that. Uh, come on now. But you see, she believed and obeyed. She went back home, shut the door like the man of God said, with her son in. See, because you can't explain that kind of miracle to everybody. <laughs> it's God. Yes. Imagine calling her, come and see you. No, 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 no. No, nah, because they are the same people who go bad mouth and say, look, go and buy that woman's oil. <laughs> you don't know. That oil is not normal oil. They'll go bad mouth her. Huh? But she took her son and locked the door and she began to pour. And she noticed as she was pouring, uh, but no, it, it's, it's not getting empty, praise God. And then the first vessel got filled. She told the son, bring the next one. He brought the next one. She, he got filled. Bring the next one. Bring the next one. Bring the next one. Until the son said, there is no more to bring, praise God. And then the moment they poured into that vessel and there was none to pour into, it was enough. The Bible said the oil stayed. Do you know what it means for the oil to stay? It means if she turns it on the floor to pour, it will not pour. Oh, wow. That's a power of God. Now she poured until she poured into the last vessel. So the oil was enough until she had enough capacity to receive. That's how the blessing of the Lord is. So when David said he daily loads us with benefit, brothers and sisters, what's your capacity for today? Think about it. What's your capacity for today? How much benefits can you receive today? He didn't say benefits. He said benefits. See, plural. Now, how many benefits can you receive today? Do you know the benefit of healing? He's giving it to you. Do you need the benefit of forgiveness of sins? He's giving it to you. Do you need the benefit of, of, of your mouth being filled with good things? He's giving it to you. Do you need the benefit of He's crowning you with loving kindness and tender mercy? Do you need mercy today? He's giving it to you. And, and guess what? It's not just that, or it's not just the saying that He's giving it to you. The truth is, there are things that are going to manifest in your life today that will show that God has given you benefits. Sometimes, people don't just know how to receive from God. As for God, He'll be faithful to Himself, He'll be faithful to His Word, and He will give you that which is yours. So I know, on a daily basis, God has released benefits to you. Would you see it? Would you receive it? I've always said this, thing, that on the day of judgment, when we all stand before the Lord, and the Lord begins to show us, see, God is not going to ask you, you, I saw you on the 21st of January. I saw what you did. No, nah, that's not what God is going to say. Rather, God is going to tell you, son, on the 21st of January, I released this blessing to you. What did you do with it? See, God is going to judge himself. See that now? He's going to judge himself. That's not what the judgment is all about. It's not, he's not coming to judge you. 
he will judge himself. In judging himself, you will see your own judgments. So God is going to tell you, I made all those benefits available to you. What did you do with them? That is when you will remember because your memory will be intact. I tell people this is the truth. Your memory will be intact. You will be able to tell and you will remember everything that distracted you from God's blessing on that day. You will know because you will remember. You will know when that call came in. And you will know when, when you, you thought, no, I won't pick this call because um, I don't think I want to talk to this person. Now, because something else was getting your attention, you will know. See, that's why the Bible said we should guard our hearts with all diligence because out of it are the issues of life. So, so you, a call is coming in. You see the call. Why don't you want to pick? And I don't think I want to talk to this person. Why? I just don't feel like talking to this person now. And sometimes the Spirit of God will be nudging you. Pick that call. Pick that call. I remember many years ago, you know, I was believing God. I was supposed to be in a meeting. Many years ago, I was supposed to be in a meeting in Lagos. And I was believing God for money for the flight ticket. And now the meeting was supposed to be for 10 a.m., on Thursday morning. Now, this was Saturday night into Thursday morning. I hadn't bought my ticket. And at that, that time, you go to the airport straight and you buy your ticket and travel. You know, so I, I, I was waiting for the Lord to do something, to do a miracle for me. Because I told him, Lord, I, I needed to supply this money because he wanted me to be in that meeting. I knew he wanted me to be in that meeting. So I was believing God for the money. Now, you believe in God to catch a 7 a.m. flight. And by 12 midnight, you don't even have the money to buy the ticket for the flight. And you know you're supposed to be in that meeting. You know God have told you to be in that meeting. Brother, you may not be able to sleep that night. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. So I was awake about 2 a.m. I was awake. And then my phone began to ring. I looked at the phone. It was a, a, a sister that was calling me. And I thought to myself, why would she be calling me at this time? I'm like, nah. You see, now at that point, you don't want counseling. You don't want to counsel anybody. You know what I mean by that? You're focused on one thing. Where is this money going to come from? <laughs> Praise God. So, and I remember at that time, she was even a youth copper, you know. So she called me and, and I saw the call like, ah, oh, nah, I, I'm not going to pick. And then the call finished. The phone, the phone stopped ringing. And I heard the Lord say, call her back. Ha! <sighs> he said, call her back. Now you see, no matter what, what, what was in my mind, I had to submit all those thoughts over to the Lord. See that now? That's why the Bible said, bringing every thought into subjection to the obedience of the Lord. So all the Lord had to tell me is call her back. So I picked up my phone and dialed her number and, 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 and she picked her like, oh, are you okay? Is everything all right? He said, yeah, everything is all right. Okay, so I sensed there was no emergency. Okay, why were you calling me? And I'm like, well, I, I was just calling to know if you're in town. I, at 2 a.m., <laughs> praise God. And I said, well, I, I, I know most times you, you used to be awake at the night. So I just let me try. If you're sleeping, then that's okay. I'm like, okay, are you sure there's no problem? I said, no. I said, well, I'm in town, but I have a meeting this morning, so I'll be going to Lagos. Oh, but you're still in town? I said, yes. What time is your meeting? 10 a.m. Uh, that means you're, you're flying. I said, yes. Have you bought your ticket yet? I said, no, not yet. And then, here are her words. I said, Pastor, can you give me the opportunity to buy your ticket for you? At 2 a.m. I'm like, okay, well, how do we do it? He said, well, I said, I have to be going to the airport by 5, 5.30. He said, would you let me come to your house by that early? By that early? I said, okay, where do you stay? She told me, I said, oh, okay, I can take that route to the airport. So we arranged, I picked up the money from behind the morning, got to the airport, bought my ticket, went for the meeting. Now you see, God provided 
but my mind and the thinkings in my heart would have averted or would have diverted my attention from receiving what God provided. Because, you know, I, think, I was thinking about it later, but really, you know, what was I expecting? Maybe I was, there are some calls I would have seen at that time I would have rushed to pick. <laughs> you know what I mean? But this was not the kind of person that you think, okay, she has that kind of money. I thought she was a youth copper. So that was an act of faith from her because the Spirit of God decided to use her. And I would have scuttled all that by the things that I was allowing to distract my mind. You see that now? So it's the same thing I'm telling you. Every day, God releases benefits to you. There are people the Lord will put in your heart, call this person, say, mm, ah, mm, 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 no, I, 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 I don't think, I, no, Kai, if I call him now, he'll start asking me, where are you? Where have you been? What are you doing with your life? No, I will not call. You see that? You don't know that the Lord has commanded that person and you see, sometimes when people receive commands from the Lord, they don't really know exactly because God doesn't speak English. God doesn't speak your native dialect. No, God speaks by lights. Understand this. And the lights by which God speaks comes to you and your interpretation of that light has a lot to do with your level of understanding and knowledge with it. Understand this. Now, there are people God would have commanded to do something good for you. See? But now, even they don't know really that that's what the Lord is commanding them to do. But you see, God is just impressing. What they are receiving is a strong impression in their hearts to talk to you. Now, they might be, or they may just be lazing around like, oh, okay, I'll call him later. I'll call. Now the Spirit of God comes to you and say, call that person. You see that? And then you, okay, if I call him, I say, that's what the devil does. He floods your mind with distractions. If I call this person now, what if he now says, what if he now says this? Meanwhile, all you needed to do was to dial the person. And the person said, whoa, you, uh, you know, I've been waiting for you. Or I've been thinking of you since, oh, really? Why? Um, I, I, don't, I really don't. Um, come, what, what's going on with you now? So, well, um, this is what I'm thinking about. You know, this, this is the new uh, business I'm thinking of doing and, and stuff. And I'm like, whoa, wow. Then by what you say, then the person will get a clear picture of what the Lord will have been instructing him. You see that now? He said, oh, I, now I think I know why I wanted to talk to you. I think I want to support this thing that you're doing. Oh, ho, ho, ho. wow, really? Yeah, send your account your number. Or oh, oh, it may not be finances. It may be a wisdom. Now you're praying to God for a certain wisdom. And then the Lord begins to tell you, call this person, call this person. I said, mm, why would I call this? You don't know that the Lord has put that particular wisdom in the mouth of that person. You see, the Lord will do his work. You remember last week we were sharing on the most important things. And I told you the most important thing is receiving the Holy Spirit. And that's still what I'm talking to you about. Incline your ears. Be observant. Listen for the voice of the Spirit of God. It doesn't come all the time in a loud form. But if you pay attention to that Holy Spirit voice, you will hear him today. And he will guide you into every truth of mercy, of provision, of abundance that the Lord has provided for you. God bless you because my time is up right now. I'll see you tomorrow. But before I go, I want to pray for you. I pray that the hand of the Lord will rest upon you mightily today. I pray that you will not miss every whisper from heaven in your heart. I pray you will hear and see the hand of the Holy Spirit guiding you into all truth in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Step out today and be blessed in Jesus' name. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.